Welcome to Designer Digital's Tip of the Week, April 2, 2011. This week, Tricks with Text Series number 3, Digitally Gluing Paper to Text. This week's tip is the third in this series on digital techniques with text in Photoshop and Elements. This week, you'll discover another way to use digital papers with the Type tool. Begin by opening a new document or a digital project in Photoshop or Elements. Get the horizontal type tool and then choose a font name and a font style here in the options bar across the top of the editing screen. Choose a large size. For the sample I'm going to use a hundred point and then click on your document and type out a word. I'm going to drag it into position here underneath my photos. Next, open up a digital paper of your choice. Get the Move tool and drag the paper onto your document. Make sure it completely covers up your text and then come over to the Layers panel and position your paper layer one step above the text layer so that you can create a clipping mask. Alt-click or on a Mac System option click in between the two layers when the cursor changes to a double circle arrow. This causes the paper layer to move to the right with a downward arrow. On your document, you'll notice that the paper has taken on the shape of the text. If you'd like to make your title look hand cut or cut with a die cut machine, you'll need to add a drop shadow to the text layer and not the paper layer. I'm going to use Katie Pertit's drop shadow action to add a drop shadow to my text and make it look like it's hand cut. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back next week for another Photoshop or Elements tip of the week.